The screencast will demonstrate the installation of VMware Data Recovery, the plugin, and setting up a backup schedule. Before we begin, I want to create a logical folder called Operations in our vSphere vCenter. And next we can go to File, Deploy OVF Template, and we will select this from the CD. Go ahead and, and select the folder that we want this to appear in that we just created. I'm going to go ahead and install this on the Agile test server. And the reason I'm doing this is any additional load, I want to be on the test server, not production. Also, it only has a 5 gig f footprint, so I'm going to go with thick provisioning. I do not expect this to grow at all. And we will just let the installer run. Now that installation is complete, we'll go ahead and start up this virtual machine. That's all there is to deploying the data recovery VM. The next installation step is to install the vCenter client plugin. And to do that, we'll go ahead and launch the MSI installer. Now this installer will need to be executed on every machine that's going to run a client that needs to administer the DR solution. That's because it is a client-side application, it is not a server-side. Okay, so to see the changes, let's go ahead and close out of the client that we have open. And we will relaunch the client. And there's our plugin. Now that we have the VM installed as, along with our plugin, we're going to go ahead and install the VM's networking. To do that, we're just going to run DHCP. And we don't need a proxy server. Everything will be automatic, and that's, that's fine for this installation. So now let's go back to our plugin. As you can see, I went to Home Solutions and Applications in the plugin. I selected the VM on the left. And now we're going to go ahead and go through the Getting Started wizard. I'm going to add your NAS storage. So I'm going to use the Agile Admin credentials to connect to the storage. And we're going to create a backup job called Full Backup. And I am going to select everything in your data center to be backed up. I'm going to extend the hours of operation from 7 to 7 so that we don't run any backup jobs during your business hours. So let me take these uh, blocks of time out of the backup schedule. Now for your retention policy, uh, we're using the more retention policy. It'll give you a year and a couple quarters. And let's go ahead and, and deploy this. Now you, you can see it says preparing to execute. So it's going to sit out there until it does a backup. That's all there is to deploying DR. The